worker at the nursing home had been trying to reach her all day, and she has agoraphobia, so she's never going to be that far from the phone. <laughs> she can't reach her. She's called my sis youngest sister and myself and says, we can't reach your mom. What's going on? I better go over there and make sure she's OK. My younger sister gets there first, and um, she didn't have the key. My mother hadn't given her the keys to the apartment and certainly didn't trust the super of the building to have a set of keys. So the police come. They have to break the door down, pull it off its hinges. My poor younger sister, who was extremely close to my mom, goes in and finds my mother in the bedroom, in a chair, like this, dead. Her lips are blue. Her nail beds are blue. And when they lift her up and put her on one of the beds, one of the pillow, fancy, posturepedic, pillow top mattresses that she just spent thousands of dollars for, she's been dead for a while, so her arm remains in this position like this. But I didn't know this yet, so I called the apartment on my own, because I got the message to check on mom, and a guy answers, and there's no guy there. My, the only guy in her life is my dad, and he's in the hospital, and the nurse was Officer Olivo. I said, um, I'm here to check. Is my mom all right? No, nope, she passed. And then he says, drive safely. <laughs> so I get over there. The door's off the hinges. It's unbelievable. It's surreal. And I walk into the house, and my youngest sister staggers out of the bedroom. And she goes, I guess we have to call Fresh Pond. And Fresh Pond is the name of the mausoleum where my parents have always planned to be cremated. Which is a weird name because it's neither fresh nor is there a And my sister, my sister has gone daft. She has snapped. It's like, do you remember the movie Gone with the Wind? <laughs> Poor Scarlett O'Hara goes home <coughs> to see her mom. But the father's gone around the bends. And well, my sister has snapped. She's just lost it. And I go in, and there's mom on the bed like this. And it's horrible. And there's a police officer, a young kid of a police officer, a rookie, sitting at the kitchen table on this, at our dining room table. He's hunkered down into our house. And he has to be there until the body's removed. That's New York State law. Apparently, they don't trust us with our mother's body. <laughs> and they're right. <laughs> <laughs> with his girlfriend trying to pass the time, making shit chat with his girlfriend. And I'm in the room with my youngest sister, and my youngest sister looks at me, and we look at mom on the bed there, and she says, in your heart of hearts, do you really think mom's dead? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean by being a little, she's gone a little dad. I should tell you that my sister is an RN. <laughs> she's a fully certified nurse, so you think she'd be able to contribute a little bit to this assessment? <laughs> try to do CPR, and I compress the chest, <laughs> and these, the whistling sound as the air leaves her lungs, and it's clear that she's dead, and there's nothing, you know, I tried for a little bit, but there's nothing that I can do. It's, it's clearly dead, and there's no pulse, there's no response. And then we say, we try to figure out what to do, and I remember that grandma was taken to a nurse, to a funeral home, and I called that funeral home, and they want $3,000 to come on Monday night, at, at 8.30 p.m. to pick up mom's body, $3,000. So I, I turned to my sister, I said, we'll split it, right? And she goes, no. <laughs> I said, I'll put it on my credit card, but we'll split this, right? And she goes, no, no. And I said, well, I'm not paying for it either. Because <laughs> I know all the times she screwed me in the past where I pick up the check and we're supposed to settle later. And it's, Horrible, right? Then the medical examiner comes, who's a perky blonde, and she comes in and she, she examines, that's by law also, she has to examine my mother's body, so she examines her, and we say, what do you think happened? What do you think was the cause of that? She said, it's a cardi probably a cardiovascular event. Now for me, the word event usually has positive connotations. <laughs> it really should be more of a cardiovascular disaster. <laughs> Events planners, but nobody planned this event. <laughs> well, anyways, I said, How long do you think she's been dead? She said, Well, judging by her rigor mortis, I'd say about eight hours. 
But she says, but if you really want to be sure, I can put a rectal thermometer in and give you a more accurate close to this. So, I, oh no, I said, all right. And my youngest sister goes crazy. She goes, you want to put a rectal thermometer in mine? And then she goes, when you die, I'm going to do that to you. <laughs> Justice. 